birds flying high, you know how I feel. As the top ants duos competed for medals at the World Championships, the first warm-ups unfolded the most impressive story of overcoming this tournament. Six months ago, Estonian figure skater Solon Mazang fell from support and training, suffered a fractured skull, and spent a week in intensive care. And now, together with her partner Marko Gudenko, she performed at the main start of the season. They did not qualify for the free program they remained on the 28th line, but the exit to the ice itself is much more valuable than the titles. On September 29, 2022, Solon and Marco, as usual, went to training at the Montreal Ice Academy. Before the first start from Landia Trophy there was less than a week left, and they were already rolling up ready-made programs. We warmed up, worked on the rhythm dance and moved on to the free dance. It happened on a simple transition that we did hundreds of times. I was on Marco's shoulders, head down. I fell free, like I was flying. And at that moment, Marco's blade hit a mark on the ice. He stumbled, fell back, but still desperately tried to protect me. We fell. I hit hard and passed out for a few seconds. And when she came to herself, she grabbed her head and screamed. This is how Mazang described what happened a few months later. Marco did not immediately understand what had happened. This fall was no different from the many others they gotten up from and rode on, but this time Solon didn't get up. The coaches got their bearings instantly, and soon the skater underwent a tomography in the hospital. During magnetic resonance imaging, Mazang's condition worsened. Her temperature dropped to 32 degrees, her pupils did not react to light she fell into a coma. She urgently underwent a craniotomy, the operation lasted several hours. The quick reaction of the doctors and the determination of the coaches saved the girl's life, none of them had time to think. I am very grateful to Tim Dick, Olivia Smart and Patrice Lawson who came and supported me while the doctors fought for Solon's life. Marie-France Durule called her mother. We are extremely grateful to her for taking on this difficult conversation. Marco said. Two days later, Mazan came to her senses. She breathed only with the help of a ventilator. She had a large drain in her head. My doctor still doesn't understand how I survived. The emergency doctor who examined me first came to the intensive care unit later. He couldn't believe I pulled through. Solon returned home eight days after the operation. I can officially declare that I am a robot. I have four metal plates in my head. In November, Solon started a blog about returning to the sport. She recorded every change in her condition day after day, filmed sessions in the rehabilitation center, and talked in detail about home workouts. Her page contains sets of exercises for those who want to tone their muscles. At first, Mazang could hardly cope even with simple everyday things eat, take a shower, go for a walk. Then she trained the vestibular apparatus for a long time, because she lost her balance every time she closed her eyes or lifted one leg off the floor. I just have an incredible partner. All I can do is support her with all my might. Before my eyes, she learned to walk again, talk and even speak English. So, already on the third day in the hospital, she began to pester doctors can she compete at the World Championships, can you imagine? Admires Gadeanko. In every video report Solon smiles and dances. She now talks about the operation jokingly. I can officially declare that I am a robot because I have four metal plates in my head. Only once did she leave a sad caption under the post. Sometimes I get discouraged, feel bad and want to quit. On January 9, 2023, 102 days after the fall, Mazang took to the ice again. At first I rode only in a helmet and no more than 15 minutes a day. Once a week, I took tests on balance and visual perception to track the restoration of neural connections. Six months after the fall, she fully recovered physically, but mentally it is much harder to do so. Solon suffers from panic attacks, cannot stand the noise and bright light, and has also lost some of her memories. 
To some extent, these are side effects of drugs, but some of the symptoms will disappear only after a couple of years. At the World Championships in Satama, Mazengudenko took 28th place. A year ago they were 19th with a personal best of 149.04 points. So far, the duet is far from optimal form, and yet the pace of recovery is amazing. Just a month ago, Solon did only simple steps, barely started whistles and training with weights dumbbells of 5 kilograms in each hand, no more. Now he and Marco have completely returned the programs. Doctors allowed us to go to compete, but they set a condition. Only rhythm dance, long skating is contraindicated for me, it's too dangerous. If we had qualified for the free dance, we would still have withdrawn. So far, health comes first, Mazang notes. It would be difficult for them to fight the elite even without an injury and a break. The skaters are young, Solon is 20 years old, Marco is 21, and have only had one full season in seniors. At the junior level, they took the bronze of the French Grand Prix. Together they have been skating for the second year, under the guidance of Marie-France Dubrule and Patrice Lawson, since the summer of 2022. Ahead of a lot of work on themselves, but these guys do not take perseverance. Solon is determined. Nothing bothers me anymore, because I am alive, and this is the most important thing. I created a social media account in hopes of showing the world that anything is possible if you believe in yourself and don't give up. All it takes is time, love and dedication. Well, the World Championship in Satama is just a step towards a dream. It means so much to us to be here at the World Cup. I seem to prove to myself, yes, there was an injury, but now I'm fine. The hardest thing was admitting to myself that something really serious happened to me. I refuse to believe it. It was psychologically difficult to go out on the ice again, but I did not even think that I would never skate again. I was three years old, and I already knew that my goal in life was to win the Olympics. How can I refuse it? And yes, I just really love figure skating. <laughs> Two-time champion of Russia Alexandra Stepanova gave birth to her first child, as reported in social networks. The news shocked the public, as the skater carefully concealed her position. In July, Stepanova married the nephew of Svetlana Sokolovskaya, figure skating coach Vlad Malinov, after which she suspended her career. Recently it turned out that Alexandra and her ice partner Ivan Bukin left the mentors with whom they work for 16 years. The couple announced that they were moving to Alexander Julin. Because of this news, many thought that the athletes would soon start training, but it immediately became known that the champion became a mother for the first time. The 27-year-old blonde shared a photo from the discharge of the baby. Fans were surprised by the news, but still happy for her. Conspiracy the level of God, suddenly, the rumors turned out to be real, I'm so happy for her, congratulations, well done, I was able to keep it a secret until the last they write. Young parents did not disclose the gender of the child, 